Today, we're going to be talking about EOS. No, not the lip balm thingy. No, EOS, the crypto project. We're going to be discussing, in layman terms, what exactly EOS is so that you guys out there can understand it. I know you guys are still trying to grasp the whole Bitcoin thing, but hey, we need to move on to other projects as well so you can understand what this whole ecosystem is building for us and our future. All right, if you want to know more, just stay tuned for more. Lambo, just sell your Ethereum bags already and buy some EOS, all right? Seriously, that Ethereum stuff is not gonna make it. Now, I know Ethereum was the first one to be around and uh, EOS is now the king, but I'm telling you, man, you know, we talk about this all the time, you and me. Just get rid of those Ethereum bags. It's not gonna do you any good, man. It's all about EOS. Look, man, if you got a problem with it, just make your own show. Do your own video talking about Ethereum, okay? But I'm gonna be talking about EOS because that's a project I like, all right? And I'm going to explain to these wonderful people exactly why EOS is the king. All right. Yeah, guys, say sorry about that. And I was just having a discussion, you know, with this guy. As soon as I start recording, he wants to start talking. But by the way, Lambo, great coffee. Great coffee. He does make a mean cup of coffee, though. I'll tell you that right now, for reals. Not, not, not hating on that. But... I digress. That's not, t today's episode is not comparing one project to another or anything like that. In fact, you guys already know what today's episode is about. We're going to just talk about EOS and I'm going to see if I can explain to you guys a little bit about what EOS is just in layman terms, okay? Because as you guys already know on this channel, we've uh, I, I've, I've started a little bit of a new series of uh, you know Bitcoin for Beginners, Bitcoin 101. You know, just uh, crypto basics, whatever we want to call this, maybe all of the above. And uh, now, today's episode, we're going to be talking about a crypto project. Not a cryptocurrency, a crypto project. So, what is the difference between a crypto project and a cryptocurrency? Well, a cryptocurrency, we've already talked about many times before. That's when we talk about, you know, when, whenever I bring up uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin, or Monero, you know, we're talking about the banks, we're talking about, you know, moving uh, value from one place to another, that's a currency. You know, the dollar's a currency, the peso's a currency, all of these things are currencies. So we have cryptocurrencies, okay? They're just a digital representation of a currency in, you know, digital form. Anyways, but that's that. EOS, like Ethereum, and like a bunch of others, others out there, like let's say Tron, Cardano, um, and there's others out there. Please name your favorite platform below. Well, what these things are, they're platforms, okay? And what do I mean by that? What, what does that mean? Can you break that down, Jose? Yes, I can. Okay, so we talk about blockchains all the time, okay? You hear that buzzword blockchain, blockchain. What is a blockchain? Again, a blockchain is literally just a fancy ledger, okay? What is a ledger? It's just a again a digital um, filing cabinet that's basically it so that's basically what a blockchain is well now you're probably asking yourself well what the fuck do we need that for well we need it for a million things because the thing is that right now everything everything is digital and it's not only just digital but it's very easily accessible to everyone hackers included okay and that's the thing you know that's just one of the problems you know, all of our information is already digitized, but guess what? People can access it. It's not private, okay? People can, you know, do so many, so much, so, they can alter that information. They can do so many things. So this is where the blockchain comes in because it's a digital ledger for the future in which once, you know, you put information on there, you can't change it. If you're going to change it, you know, th there's like a little, like, notch or a little, piece of information that says it was changed on top of that you know um, it's it's private on top of that it's unhackable there's so many things and there's two types of ledgers you know there's gonna be public ledgers you know public blockchains and private ledgers private blockchains and there's other technologies out there that are not necessarily blockchains okay again the blockchain is just more like the 
you know, the cool word. It's 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 just the word that's that, that got coined and used. And you know, just like a lot of words in uh, in uh, in popular culture, sometimes it's not necessarily the right description to this technology or whatever it is you know that it's describing but regardless we're talking about blockchains right now and what is EOS well basically all EOS is now I know it's a lot more complicated but I'm just trying to explain in layman terms what these things are so today we're talking about EOS so what EOS is it is a platform so that other individuals out there can use the tools provided by EOS so that they can now individually build their own blockchain. So they can build their own private or public blockchain. It all depends on who you are out there and what you want to use it for. Now, a lot of people that know a little bit about this space are saying to themselves, well, why don't, why don't these individuals out there just build their own blockchain or build their own ecosystem from the ground up? Well, you could do that, and, and, and in my opinion, that is the ultimate, the best way to do things. But the reality is, is that, you know, hey, right now, and, and ever since the beginning of the internet, we had two options. You know, we had option one, build your website from the ground up, from scratch, which again, we all know is always the best option. Or B, you can use something like Squarespace, or you can use something like Wix. You can use, you know, there's many, you sometimes remember back then it was MySpace, whatever. And you can use this to build your website. Now, what happens, you know what I mean? Sure, you can build your website with Squarespace or Wix or whatever out there, but it's not necessarily your website. And on top of that, it's you're using their tools on their servers and their protocol and their whatever so that you can build your own website on their platform that they again they created this platform to facilitate the ability to make your own website so what is EOS it's, just, it's pretty much exactly that they created this platform okay this ginormous blockchain where you can now have access to their tools so that you can build your own private or public blockchain on the EOS ecosystem okay and they have done such an amazing job you know creating this you know by create you know in creating this project of EOS that literally projects you know that were on Ethereum or Cardano or Tron or whatever else is out there are literally all migrating towards EOS okay so that they can it, it build things easier and better in fact, I covered this over a year ago in an episode which I entitled, you know, literally Ethereum versus EOS. And why Ethereum? What is Ethereum? Well, for all you newbies out there, if you could look at the top 10 uh, coins, you always see Bitcoin and then Ethereum right under it. EOS is somewhere in the bottom six, seven, whatever. But Ethereum is number two. And what is Ethereum? Well, that's what Ethereum is. You know, a lot of people out there don't know. It, the people that know about this technology know, you know, what Ethereum is and what it represents. But most people that are brand new to this, which most likely are the ones, you know, you guys watching out here, you know, you guys understand, you guys don't know what Ethereum is. Well, Ethereum was the first ever um, protocol that allowed people to build their own blockchain, to build their own value system on their blockchain and use their, you know, coins, tokens, and so on and so forth. That's why. Um, and back in 2017, you saw all these ICOs, which are initial coin offerings. And what they were doing is that they were using Ethereum to build their blockchain and use Ethereum ERC20 tokens to, again, um, realize the value of their said project. So for example, like, let me give you an example. Like there's a lot of coins out there, like let's say the BAT token, and the Brave browser. So the, what the Bra the Brave browser is a web browser that allows you to search, you know, to, to use the web and you know block ads and uh, and it goes a lot faster. And at the same time, it allows you to collect bat tokens and not just collect bat tokens, but also buy bat tokens and reward other users with these bat tokens. And you can function in, the, in this ecosystem. Now the thing is that this platform was built on the Ethereum platform 
and therefore using ERC20 tokens, and these tokens are running on off an Ethereum platform. Instead of BAT creating their own blockchain and using their own system. Now, what happens when, because of this? Well, because of them going down that route, they had to, you know, eventually, um, I mean, they, in order for people to interact with the system, they had to, um, no choice, but to uh, fill out paperwork, you know, for, you know, just like if you were getting a bank account. And they, they had to fill out know your customer information in order to just get these tokens and access these tokens. So at first it was a great idea and it was wonderful and awesome and fun and cool, but you know, people start, are starting to realize and have started to realize that it's not necessarily a great idea because these ERC20 tokens really don't have much value. Yeah, sorry about the, the dog out there, one second. Anyway, sorry about that. Sorry about the doggy out there, doggy in the window. Anywho, so like I was saying, um, you know, Ethereum was great. It was wonderful. You know, it was the first of its kind. But eventually, you know, Mr. Dan Larimer, which is the creator of EOS, said, hey, we can do this better. And so they did. That's where EOS was created. That's why EOS, you know, was uh, formed because Ethereum had a lot of problems. It was slow. It was expensive it was so many things that just did not fit into this new digital world that we're moving into eos you know a lot you know had there has very little fees if any fees is most of the time in fact let me reverse that it's actually free you know what i mean to move uh, uh, you know eos around within the ecosystem and on top of that it's a lot easier to build on eos and it's a lot more user friendly and it's it, it is also its own blockchain and so on and so forth again eos might not be the thing of the future per se but it's literally taking the the major steps so that we can start building this future with these blockchains and these value systems and so on and so forth and that's why EOS is important. EOS is just version 2.0 of this stuff. And again, we have other projects out there trying to do the same thing. And as time goes on, we're gonna be seeing even more and more of this stuff. Now, why is keeping cost down and speed important when it comes to this stuff? Because, well, right now, imagine as you're on the internet, whether you're on your phone or on the computer, every single time that you opened your Instagram or Twitter app, and it would load new messages or pictures, you get charged for every new picture or account that got loaded onto the account or, or any new tweet that you saw from somebody else, you got charged gas, get, you know, you got charged, 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 charged. So that's, and, and again, remember, we need to build all these things, whether it's Twitter, whether it's uh, Facebook, whether it's Uber, whether it's Airbnb, whether it doesn't matter what it is, you know what I mean? We all need to start putting these things on these new blockchains and, with, and using this new technology. But again, we need to make sure that the costs are free. It's all about keeping the costs down. Remember, we've talked about this many times before, near zero marginal cost. El eliminating the middleman, eliminating cost, making sure that things are as peer-to-peer -peer as humanly possible, decentralization, and so on and so forth. These are the things that are gonna keep us away from the central banks, the governments, and other entities that are trying to centralize everything and keep everything in power. And keep their and keep the, you know them in power and keep us without any power. So it's breaking away from that. And so these are just the the the, pre, the precursors of what's to come. Because in the future, when we're building like uh, let's say a smart home, if a smart home is built on the legacy system, you know, just the internet that we have today. Well, you already know people can hack into your into your home. They can hack into your computer. They can hack into your your Alexa or they can hack into your Siri, they can hack into your lights, you know, meaning they can turn off and turn on your lights and your power, they can do all that. But if that system is built on a blockchain or more specifically on something like EOS, then all of a sudden, not only will, you know, um, all of a, you, you'll be, not only will you be secure and private and, um, and on a blockchain, but what does it mean to be on a blockchain? Well, the fact that nobody can just, you know, hack into your, your house and mess with your, you know, your, your lights, your power, you hack into your computer, that's all of that, that's number one. Number two, remember, 
all of these things, every single transaction, whether you're turning on your lights, turning them off, um, move, you know, whatever, any, any single little itty bitty thing that we all take for granted nowadays, every single movement requires energy. Okay, and right now, for the most part, all this is free because it's on the internet. You know, how the internet works. And we're trying to build this new internet. But again, by using something like an Ethereum or another platform like that, every single thing that you do is gonna cost money. That's why EOS is so important because now it allows us to, again, have a smart home and you can do all the things that you want. You can turn on and off the light all day long and it's not gonna cost you money. You can now get in a smart car, you know, in a, in a driverless car, and no one's gonna hack into that car. You'll be on that smart grid and no one will know where you're going. No one can hack it. No one can do any of these things. You follow me? That's why all this is important. On top of that, you know, when you're looking for an Uber, it's not gonna cost you, you know, EOS tokens or Ethereum tokens or anything, I mean, or EOS tokens or any other kind of token like that. You know what I mean? It's just not. It's all part of that whole ecosystem. And version 3.0 is gonna be cheaper and faster, version 4.0 and, and all that stuff. And 3.0 could be EOS, it could be another project, but it doesn't matter. But the point is that what EOS is, is that it's a, a crypto project. Literally, it's, it's a project that is here to allow people to start building blockchains easily and quickly. And you put them into use. Because again, we're at the very, very beginnings of this whole revolution. And sure, you know what I mean? Like uh, back in the day, you could build your own website, but it was a lot easier to just build a MySpace site or build, you know, um, a website with um, Squarespace back in the day. I don't know what, I forgot what the, what we used back then. But that's what I'm saying. That's where we're moving into. And eventually, you know what I mean? Like certain, you know, most projects out there that are big boy projects, they're gonna build their own blockchain. But to start out, you know, let's say you're a startup or, you know, you're just, you know, um, just a small, yeah, just a startup, you know, just a few people, small company, small business, you most likely will use EOS. Because let's just say that you want to put your restaurant or your, you know, um, dry cleaning service business on the blockchain. Well, a lot, you might as you might go through the EOS protocol and platform to have somebody build you know, the, the ecosystem on EOS as opposed to building your own blockchain because it might be too expensive. Maybe later on you'll build it and so on and so forth. And again, this is expensive because again, right now, if you know anything about what's going on in the space, you know that, first of all, there's no jobs anywhere when it comes to like just regular work. But when it comes to the blockchain, when it comes to this tech area, 99% of the companies cannot fill the jobs fast enough. So right now, everyone is trying to build as much of this infrastructure as quickly as possible, but they don't have the resources, meaning the manpower of people that know how to build these things. So that's how infancy we are in this space right now, okay? Remember, just 10 years ago, an app developer, that job didn't exist. Today, an app developer is, an, is a career. And now we're morphing into a DAP developer. What is DAP? It's a decentralized application. So again, we're very new into this. But I digress, that's it. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm running out of battery. So just to reiterate and come full circle, EOS is a crypto project to help facilitate others out there to build their own blockchain. It's not a cryptocurrency. Sure, it can be used as currency. Anything can, right? But it's, that's not what it's for. And that's why, you know, we have so many projects out there doing so many things and we gotta do our due diligence and our homework to make sure that when we're investing and then we're putting all our, you know, our knowledge, you know, all our knowledge or chips or whatever into X, you know, whatever pot we're putting it into, that we know what we're getting into. If you're investing in Dentacoin, which is a coin for the dental industry, and that's all you're looking into, well, guess what? You're probably gonna lose all your fucking money. But if you put your money into, I don't know, Digibyte or Dash, which is building, you know, these are currencies, uh, what else? But let's just go to EOS. But if you put all your money into EOS, okay, and you know what these things is for, you know, what this is for, it's like, hey, you're probably investing in Squarespace or Wix back in the day when it was first starting out. So that's the kind of, you know, 
project or investment you would be doing when it comes to EOS. Completely different than if you're investing your money in Bitcoin. And putting your money in Bitcoin is like putting your money in gold. All you're doing is hedging against, against inflation. You're hedging against the dollar. You're hedging against governments and banks. That's what Bitcoin, Litecoin, and other cryptocurrencies are. Currencies. EOS is a project. Completely different. And even again, a crypto project is what I'm calling it. But we still have yet to give these new things out there a name. Maybe you guys can help out. Maybe we can create a brand new name, a crypto for the crypto projects, all right? For things like EOS, like Ethereum, like Cardano, like Tron, and others out there. All right, guys. I hope this video is informative and I hope it gave you guys and shed a little more light on EOS in the crypto space and why there's so much knowledge out there and we need to really, really start learning about this stuff because at some point all this stuff is going to be part of our lives. Just like the cell phones, just like so much technology is already part of our everyday lives. So either A, we learn about it now or, or B, we learn about it when it's way too late. So again, it's your choice what you do here. Don't take just my video also just as verbatim and the only form of education and knowledge when it comes to this. Please do your own homework. Go out there and look at more videos, read some more stuff, and, and just you know start looking into all this stuff and educating yourself. And, edu and, we, and by, by doing that, you're, we're all educating each other and we're constantly growing. And again, you might, be, have, you might have the ability to build something, build something for the future, for your children, for your children's children, and so on and so forth, for the future of humanity, okay? That's where we are right now. We're in a major turning point in human history. So be part of the change, okay? Seriously, there's no reason not to. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my patrons out there. Thank you to every single one of you guys out there that is always, you know, sending me love, sending me money, sending me thumbs ups. Seriously, without you guys, you know, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, I know I repeat this over and over again, but seriously, you guys really do help keep this channel alive because I don't get paid from this channel. I, I, I get like 50 bucks a month off of YouTube uh, ads. Literally, you guys help me, you know, monetize this situation. You know, this whole video, uh, channel thing that I'm doing here because at the end of the day sure I do this for free and I do it out of the pure love and desire to do these things but hey it really does help when you guys send a few bucks here and there so that I can buy Lambo a new chew toy or I can buy tacos for me and my girlfriend or whatever it is you know buy a new microphone when I need it or a new microphone wire whatever but the point is seriously it's all needed it's all you know beyond humbling and um, I just, I love you guys. You guys are beyond amazing and I wanna keep making more and more stuff. So in order for me to make more and more stuff, I actually, what I need is I need your interaction. I need you guys to leave comments below, join my Discord and start asking questions, okay? Or better yet, you know what I mean? If you, got, you have topics or, or of, of things you want me to talk about, no matter what it is, bring it up and I will most likely talk about it, make a video about it and so on and so forth, okay? But we're all in this together, guys, all right? We're all in this together and we're gonna be, you know, going to the moon, like they say in the crypto world. We're all gonna go to the moon and going to the moon can be literally, the, you know, um, going to the moon can be described in many, many forms. It doesn't just mean monetarily, all right, guys? Anyways, it could be also getting really fucking high. Woohoo! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to fucking stay awesome. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and on Discord and everywhere else you can find me. And uh, last but not least, please don't forget to stay awesome. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana. Peace.